Well, quite on three, as you know, collecting on the sea is somewhere which would traditionally have been very much a, a safe conservative constituency. Uh, you'd have had, you've basically got a lot of old, white, working class people. It's been a pretty safe Tory seat for a while. But the incumbent, of course, Douglas Carswell, has decided that he wants to defect to UKIP and has thus triggered a by-election. Now, he could just have sat uh, for the next seven months, but he's decided to make a real electoral challenge and is expected to win because he's quite a popular incumbent and Clacton itself is now uh, a sort of natural constituency for the kind of voters that UKIP is attracting that the Conservative Party no longer can attract. But if I can ask you to maybe also look a little bit further north, there's another by-election going on today uh, up in Haywood triggered by the death of the Labour incumbent. Um, now this is something where you could actually see more whether you could really are emerging as an electoral challenge to the main parties because um, this is uh, you know possibly a slightly less classic UKIP constituency and of course this will also show us po uh, possibly whether the Labour Party as well as the Conservative Party should be worried about UKIP's capturing of that kind of elderly white working class vote uh, because that's you know that's a, what a lot of the demographics of this constituency suggest. Uh, now the polling up there has definitely been a lot less favourable to UKIP um, but if they're uh, representing a substantial erosion of the Labour Party vote that's something which could really signal that the main parties should be even more worried about the threat UKIP represents uh, going into the elections next May. Well, it's it's uh, I mean he's kind of caught between two gates here, Sri, because as as you know he's kind of was seen as a more modernising Tory leader and went to move the party further to the centre. Uh, but then again, he's listen he's hearing a lot of voices from within his own party saying, you know, we have to try and capture these people who are moving to UKIP. Obviously, there's sort of two broadly two tactical potentials here. You either go and try and get those voters back or you go uh, even further to the centre to try and get new voters who may not have considered voting Tory before. And frankly, the further he moves to the right, the chances of attracting any of those newer voters uh, becomes more and more difficult uh, because you know, there's a lot of people uh, in the UK who aren't particularly keen on what UKIP stands for. So it's, I mean, it's a real quandary, possibly the biggest quandary he's faced, I would say, in, um, in his four years of power to date.